Yeah, man, it was it was a lot different than what uh, we used to. I mean, when you think of Houston, you think of high offenses, you think of high offenses and high part offenses, moving the ball up the field, tempo. What UNLV was doing to us early on in the game mm -hmm. is what we're used to seeing it from Houston. And I think a large part has to do with being the second most. Uh, schools with turnover, having 63 new players. That's, I think, trying to get adapted. I, I don't think uh, the old line is meshing like they need to. And I think that was the biggest right. flaw that I saw today from anyone. So, yeah, it was it was tough to watch, but I, I saw some positive things that later on we get into. But from the start, it, it, was, it was rough. I think that's where it started, up front, especially because there was times where Russia was just rush free and, and Donovan would have no opportunity to even get to his first option or anything. And so when the play is broken from, from this, almost from the snap, it's tough for him to get into a rhythm. Now he starts to speed up his process of sometimes the clock when he, maybe he has a little bit more time and this disrupts the rhythm of the offense. I think we call that seeing ghost. Uh, I think because they, the offense line hasn't meshed yet, and mm -hmm. the pressure they were getting pressure with four. It started out with four man pressure, and they were just doing different stunts, T stunts that was confusing the old line, and they were getting free rushes. And I think once they got in his head, it sped his clock up, and he started seeing ghosts. And and once he started seeing ghosts, you, you start seeing people that are not even there. And then sometimes he was stepping up too far in the pocket when he didn't need to, and it was making the sacks easier for UNLV. So I I, I really believe that. With time, I think the O line can get better, but right now the start it was it was bad. It was really bad.